Welcome to the enchanting world of Eldergrove, where the winter solstice transforms the town square into a magical tapestry of light and warmth. As lanterns flicker like fireflies, casting a golden glow over the cobblestone streets, the townsfolk gather in clusters, their breath visible in the frigid air. The towering evergreen tree, adorned with shimmering ornaments and twinkling lights, stands sentinel over the celebration. Join us as we delve into a night of mystery, revelation, and hope in this captivating chapter of our story. Lily Whitmore stood at the edge of the bustling square, her heart racing as she watched the townsfolk mingle. Laughter mingled with the crackling of the bonfire that blazed at the center, its warmth beckoning her. Yet, a chill ran down her spine, a reminder of the mysterious letters that had arrived, unraveling the fabric of their community. With her tousled chestnut hair framing her face and bright green eyes reflecting the flickering lights, Lily felt a surge of determination. Tonight was not just a celebration. It was a reckoning. The letters had shown them that they could no longer hide from the past. As she stood there, she knew that this night would change everything. Eli Thompson, with his dark hair tousled and glasses slipping down his nose, approached Lily. His expression was a mix of skepticism and curiosity. Do you really think they'll confront their fears tonight? He asked, his voice barely above a whisper, as if the very act of speaking the thought might summon the spirit that lingered just beyond the edges of their understanding. Lily replied with a steady voice, though her insides twisted with uncertainty. She could see the doubt in Eli's expressive brown eyes the remnants of his skepticism battling against the emotional truths that had begun to surface. Together, they stood on the precipice of change, ready to face whatever the night would bring. Mabel Hart emerged from the shadows, her silver hair gleaming like moonlight. With a long skirt swirling around her ankles and a shawl draped over her shoulders, Mabel exuded a quiet strength. Tonight, we honor the past, but we also embrace the future, she declared her voice carrying over the crackling flames. The townsfolk turned their attention to her, their faces illuminated by the firelight, a mixture of hope and trepidation etched upon them. As the air thickened with anticipation, the first letter was read aloud, its words echoing through the square, each syllable a key unlocking the doors of memory. The spirit's presence felt palpable, urging the townsfolk to confront their truths.